hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please subscribe and if you already subscribed thank you for sticking around before I start let me talk about my low hairline so here's how to know if you have a low hairline that is to measure the space between your forehead and eyebrow if the space is this little and you have a small head space to work with or you have a hair between your hairline and your eyebrow tail just like i'm showing right now and your forehead okay my forehead is narrow probably yours couldn't be narrow but then you have a low hairline that's what it means so when i plug my frontal in the area closest to my eyebrow i go extra on this area to make it look natural and also a low hairline is closer to the eyebrow average of 2 to 2.4 inches yeah which is 5 to 6 centimeters for women so yeah that's basically all you need to know about your hairline and you could go with different styles that fit your hairline jumping into today's business in this can i have my lace tint which i made by myself i'm just going to spray this once not like this was really necessary but i want to go a little extra i will use my blow dryer to quicken the drying process you can use makeup or whatever you feel like p.s this frontal has been bleached so i have a video bleaching and making this week i will leave a link above so you can check it out i will be using the got to be gel i've used it before but um i haven't used it with the spray so today i'm trying something different so i'm using the gutter gel and the spray with a toothbrush to lay my edges down and then i will go in with my blow dryer to blow dry my hair and this will be rock solid no flyaways no hairs flying nowhere when i was done with that i went in with my 85 percent alcohol sprayed it on a cotton pad and cleaned my edges from oils and dirt to prevent my lace from lifting please do not forget the back of your ears here's what my braid looks like as far as your braids are tiny you're good to go i'm just going to place the wig on my head now and you want to ensure you place it properly before you move to the next step I decided to use a headband instead of dog clips or any of the clips that have been used these days. Um, this prevented any flyaways from escaping and it was very comfortable for me. You can see how beautiful this wig is already looking, being plucked, bleached and tinted. I'm going to use the ghost bond glue for my front end install, but before I apply it, I'm going to push back the lace away from my face to reveal my hairline then start to apply my glue in thin coats and i'm doing two layers um i'm not going to be wearing this wig for a very long time so i thought it wasn't necessary to go overboard with three layers four layers six layers and what have you not so i'm using a popsicle stick or you could use the back of a rat tail comb and as you can see i'm starting exactly on my hairline when the first layer turns clear then it's dry and it's time to go in with the second layer now you could use a blow dryer to speed up the process or you can leave it to air dry now once that turns clear then i press my wig back on my head and with the help of the extra lace i press it down to my head like so to secure it like i'm pressing the lace into the glue to secure the lace or the frontal to my head afterwards i'm going to blow dry this on cool to warm setting lightly use the end of my comb to press down my frontal so i'm going to make three slits one in the middle one on my left hand side and one on my right hand side and then i start to cut the lace off um, you want to cut very close to your hairline well i did cut close to my hairline and also i did try to use this razor comb i don't know what it's called again but i almost almost cut myself so i just humbled and respected myself and used my scissors cutting in these slits made it easier for me to go in section by section and not make too much of um, a mistake or a mess or something so you can see i'm cutting in zigzag motion i'm not going straight because my hairline is not straight like i said from the beginning of this video i have a narrow hairline so it's not straight so i can't go in with the scissors and just go zzz. 
from one end to the other end. Can you just see that they smelt already? So when I got to the ear part, I was mad at myself because I thought of taking the lace from the ear part off first before putting the wig on, but I just wanted to test myself and I almost cut my ears. <laughs> yeah, so you might want to cut that first. So I got a little bit of leaf from the side. I didn't put my lace down on time. So you just, what you do, it's allowed just taking alcohol um dab it a little too and then apply your glue and you're good to go wherever there's um lace lifting or whatever it is just do that so i'm taking my alcohol in a q-tip and i'm dabbing the rest of um, the glue off my face now i wanted to do a middle part but it doesn't really fit me so i went with a c part i think that was oh the c part I'm going to go ahead to start my hair and I'm using a foam wrap. Um, I can't remember which one I'm using right now. <laughs> I have like three of them, so I don't know exactly which one, but if I can get a picture of it, I'll leave that down below. And I'm just going to start my hair. I, yeah, this is what caught me, people. This is what caught me. So I wanted to do baby hair, but nah, I love making it look natural. You know, tie that down. So I went in with my blow dryer and dried my hair oh this hot comb it does magic so i forgot to tell you guys before i laid my wig down i went in with my hot comb so it, it made it look really seamless and i just used a wax, wax stick rather to lay down any flyaways and ta-da i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it it will help me move further Thank you for watching.